It's finally time. My friends, it has finally happened. The day has finally come that we actually have real unicorns in our Labarkatory challenge. No longer barking unicorns. These unicorns will neigh and eat hay and uh, don't happen to be, uh, you know, dogs with a horn that we genetically stuck on top. <coughs> Him. But all of that to, uh, to to kind of put to the side for now. And don't worry, we will return to our smaller unicorns because boy, do those like results with our dogs ever really make things look interesting in the laboratory. For now, we are going to go ahead and we are going to enter a brand new field of fantasy with our unicorns. Which, just to clarify for those of you who are still getting used to the Sims 4 Horse Ranch. There's not unicorns actually in the game that you can go ahead and discover like in The Sims 3 and add into your family and they carry their own unique traits and unique genetic legacy. But there is a lovely horn that you can find as an accessory that you can put onto your unicorns. And fun fact, they're even there for foals, as you guys may see in just a minute here. And uh, that's okay, that's okay. We can, we can pivot with that, we can work with that because can you deny? Look at the sparkle, look at the shine, look at those feathers, look at that coloration, and we have got Reina the Unicorn, which like, I laughed so hard when that name popped up in our random generator. So, my friends, this is going to be very exciting because this laboratory challenge is going to have a little pinch of magic to it, since as you guys know from our previous adventures with the uh, science in all of its chaotic awesomeness, the unicorn genes in our laboratory challenge carry with them a very unique set of traits. Uh, the ability to go ahead and add quite a range of different colors that you would normally would not see on whatever coat pattern the other set of genetics on the other parent will be. And in that case, it is the gorgeous American paint horse. Look at this glorious creature. I am so in love. I have been down so many rabbit holes, not even horse like hoof areas. Like I've been down actual rabbit holes, which reminds me, we really do need to go ahead and cross something with a rabbit pretty soon here. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, I, I have been so freaking tickled you guys because there is so much for me to still learn about the different kinds of coats and patterns and breeds of horses. I thought I knew a little bit. No, no, I didn't. I didn't even scratch the surface, let's just say. So please continue to give me all of your suggestions for what kind of uh, breeds and what kind of coat patterns we might be using on our uh, lovely horses for this laboratory challenge because holy moly it has been so beautiful i mean have you guys seen what we have created have you seen what we created even with the irish cob we ended up making moontail why are you so small <laughs> we ended up making several very very beautiful foals i'm still tickled with some of the foals that we had with spirit and rain like they were very very pretty and i have gotten a little bit better at reading the genetics a little bit faster. So without further ado, my friends, today we are going to go ahead and crossbreed a banister, the American paint horse, and we are going to be mixing in Rina, the unicorn's unique genetics. So there's going to be a chance that this time the foals will actually inherit their unicorn powers and a unicorn horn. And there's also going to be quite a bit of interesting genetic mutation going on with their coloration where we will be randomizing the color patterns that show up on the foals. So they won't just be like gray and white, which are the colors, and gray, white, and I guess pink, which are the colors that you could inherit from either parent. They could be anything because that is what the randomness of the unicorn genes provide to us. So without further ado, I hope you guys are ready to snap on your safety goggles. And yes, I always want you to snap on your safety goggles. This time you could wear flip-flops if you really want to break a toe, you know, in the barn. That's totally following safety regulation. This is why I had you sign a waiver after all. <clears throat> and let's mix together in our Petri dishes a brand new set of foals using your guys' names and suggestions from the previous comments of our previous laboratory adventures. So, all right, I'm pretty excited about this. Oops, I think I've been trying to use like the- oh my gosh, that's actually really cute already. <laughs> I have been trying to go ahead and uh, use the other genetic mixer though, because I'm having better results with the play with genetics versus going down to make a mixed breed. So we're going to go over to play with genetics. And then we are going to welcome- this is actually going to be a cult. And are you guys ready? Dun dun dun. 
<laughs> this is actually a cult with a beautiful oh my gosh inherited the pink mane that is so cute um beautiful beautiful pink mane and tail and this is going to be crickets crickets that's adorable now you know when these little ones that are part unicorn are born you can't really tell crickets what you are going to look like just yet your personality does seem to be intelligent friendly and a free spirit uh but as you know the, the coat color kind of settles in and you get more comfortable with your coloration we are actually going to go ahead and now randomize using the random generators that i've already pulled up don't worry friends i'll handle the mathy part of things behind the scenes all the sciencey bits you guys need to have a, a, a degree in pixel biology before you're allowed in the innards of my random laboratory, like, science random generator. Basically, I just push some buttons. <clears throat> uh, but let's go ahead and we're going to randomize these colors. So without further ado, Crickets, show us what you've got and uh, we'll have to see what kind of pattern we end up with following the beautiful American paint horse, uh, I, yeah, patterning, basically. So let's, let's start. I'm kind of nervous. Okay, okay, let's do this. So one, oh my gosh, you're purple. <laughs> All right, and then it looks like we are going to uh, to randomize the next color one, and then one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my gosh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that did not turn out how I was expecting. Uh, we also need to randomize the main color as well. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, okay. I wasn't expecting purple, but that's what we've got, crickets. Uh, I mean, okay, we'll go ahead and take it. And I do like how it's kept the American paint patterning, though. That's really cute. Wow, purple, though. I wonder if you're going to grow into that. <laughs> But that is an example of how we are using the unicorn jeans to go ahead and create some extremely unique looking foals. Um, but I think that even Bannister is kind of peering over the edge of the fence, a little bit concerned about this. So let's go ahead and try with another one of our little foals. And this little one is going to be none other than another colt. And oh, oh, look how cute you are. And this little one is going to be named Crisp. Crisp, welcome, welcome. You are going to be a friendly, intelligent, and defiant little foal who is going to have some very unique coloration. Uh, let's go ahead and see what you've got. One, two, three, four. Ooh, that's really pretty. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, oh, that's a little bit of pink. That's cute. Okay. One, two, three, four. And then one, one, two okay that's actually really pretty that's really pretty i very much like this <laughs> and then the main coloration is going to be one two three okay so oh and the little reddish pink mane you kind of look like a little sunset crisp i wonder should we be randomizing the eye color too probably because that's coloration so let's see one for you and then let me go ahead and we're gonna do let's see one two three four five on the eyes for you crickets okay this is more like what i was thinking we could end up with a beautiful foal that i never would have created myself and am already completely in love with thanks to the randomness of these experiments all right rihanna we need to go ahead and we need to add in another one of your foals oh my gosh <laughs> Sakura Stallion, welcome. You're actually going to be one of the fillies, according to this. And I laugh so hard because uh, Sakura, Sakura, you have been a member of like our Patreon crew for the since the get go, I believe. And I find it so deeply satisfying that the random generator out of hundreds of comments plucked you out that I think we might have to do something special for your brave, defiant, friendly self. I think because you have everything pink, we should definitely go ahead and we should at least leave the main pink. And I kind of want to see actually let's let's choose from the the pink range the pink and purple range for you and the white because i i want to go with the flow of the coloration normally we never like manually alter the genetics like this but this is a very special circumstance with a very special friend my friends so i'm gonna follow along on the jeans and we're gonna be this pink 
And don't worry, I'm, I'm doing the math behind the scenes. Then it's white. And then the next color is going to be this pink again. And then we're going to have, let's see. Next one's going to be this one, right? Oh my gosh. <laughs> that color right there. And then the next one is actually going to be this color right here. Oh my goodness gracious. You know what? Oh, and I've forgotten. Oh, and there's not actually, you know what? Okay. Uh, one. Two, three, four, five. So that's the color that the random generator wanted your eyes to be. I know, I know, guys. Normally we go ahead and we don't take such control over the foals, but you have to understand this is a very special friend of mine who has been a big supporter of our community and given me the 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 support on Patreon to eat many of my daily breakfast oranges. So for you, for you, my friend, we're gonna have a little pink foal. It's just it has to happen. Uh, consider it a donation to the Pixel Biology Laboratory Lab. You know, we do have to go ahead and custom design some of these little creatures for people after all. Also, I forgot to go through and see if these little ones are inheriting the Unicorn Horn! I don't know how I forgot that. But we got uh, no Unicorn Horn on crickets. Crisp actually did inherit the Unicorn Horn. And I'm going to show you guys where you can go. Uh, to go ahead and get it. So you click on the little head, then you go over to Horn, and there it is. You can actually give them a tiny little unicorn horn! <laughs> Isn't it freaking precious? I completely forgot about that. Let me randomize the color. Oh, that's actually really cool. <gasps> that's really cool! Wow, crisp! I love that! Oh, I can't believe they have just this little nub of a unicorn horn. I can't wait to see what modders are going to do with this. It's going to be amazing. And Sakura Stallion, unfortunately, you did not randomize one, but thank you so much for all of your support, my friend. Uh, see, occasionally we do have to do these for our sponsors. We need to go ahead and, like, custom design horses after all. All right, and the next one is going to be... Mika! Oh, look at how pretty you are! Mika, welcome, welcome. You are going to be none other than a free spirit who's needy and energetic. That's, oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm just, we get, we have to have more foals for our Ranch to Riches challenge because they are so ridiculously cute. They're so cute. Amika, I am so glad that you are enjoying our adventures. You, my dear, actually uh, did inherit the unicorn horn. I'm just gonna get that one done with the random generator first. So one, two, <gasps> that's so cute. So that's the coloration that you inherited. And then with your eyes, let's see. One, two, that's the eye color you inherited. And now let's go through and see what kind of coat pattern you inherited. One, two, three, four. Oh, cute. Okay, one, and then one, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my gosh. <laughs> The color of this very vibrant little horn is so adorable. One, two, three. Okay, this is actually really cute. I like this. And I don't think we randomized the hair color yet. So uh, let's see, that would be one. Okay. And then there we go. So I can see what it is. This is actually precious. It's kind of cracking me up that your horn doesn't match. Uh, technically, like you could, oh man, imagine if you could have a gold horn, but that, that, that's still adorable. That's still absolutely adorable. I really like seeing how the colors are veering more towards just this mismatch of different darker tones that I wasn't really expecting. Hmm. All right, let's go ahead and pull up the next one of our wonderful random comments. Na 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 na. All right. And this one is going to be Chris. And Chris, you are actually going to be a little cult. And yes, my real life name is Sage, so I'm quite partial to it. Uh, it means wisdom, and it does have to do with the color green. It's one of the reasons I'm obsessed with the color green. I also love blue and purple, though. They're all just very nice. Lately, a little bit of yellow, just a dash, just a pinch is a treat, like a, a sunflower, for instance. And Chris, you are going to be a defiant free spirit who is quite friendly. So, you know, you're defiant. You, you want to do what you want to do, but you're not very independent because you'll like hang out with people but you're also a free spirit. I love how those are not contrasting traits somehow. I would think that that would kind of clash with each other, but it doesn't, and that really, really amuses me. You did not inherit the horn, my friend, but you did actually, let's see, one. Oh my gosh, that's really cute. So this is the color of the mane, 
And then let me get the eyes real quick. As I get used to doing this, we'll be able to go through this with a little bit more pizzazz and flow. So there are the eyes. And Chris, let's go ahead and see what your color pattern is going to be. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that's pretty. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, let's see. One, two. Oh, that's really cute. And then one. Okay. And there is Chris's pattern. I would never design these, but I have a feeling they're going to actually grow up and be quite fascinating when we see them, uh, you know, running out in the fields. All right. And then, like, I love doing unicorn patterns. This is so fun. Let's pull up the last of our little frolicking holes. And this little one is actually going to be... Dun, 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 dun. Sophia! Oh, and Sophia! So your favorite horse coat ever is the black spotted blanket Appaloosa. All right, now that, that I can get behind because I'm a fan of spotty butts. I just can't help it. Spotty butt animals, I'm just in love with automatically. And Sophia, you are going to be a mellow, intelligent, and defiant little foal. And let's see what you've got. Are you gonna inherit the horn? Let's go ahead and find out first. One. Uh, two, oh wait, wait, <laughs> I have to decide if you inherit the horn or not before I click on it. Okay, so actually one means you did not inherit the horn, but for your eyes, so there are your beautiful blue eyes. And then let's see for the main color. So for main color, one, two, three, four, five. All right, all right. And then let's see what your coat pattern is going to look like. One, two, one, two. Oh my gosh, you kind of look like a strawberry. One, two. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four. You do look sort of like a strawberry. Oh, that's so funny. Oh my gosh, you do. <laughs> All the way down, we have a little strawberry full that's adorable. Well, all right, you guys, there we have it, our very first actual mix with the unicorn. It took me a second to kind of get used to reading how the genes, because there's a lot of numbers involved. But we got our way through, and now let's go ahead and see what these little ones look like all grown up. And I'm thinking about other kind of really beautiful coat patterns we might try out in the future with this, because that was a lot of fun. Crickets, you're up first. You know, Crickets, I don't know if there's a way to tell you this. I don't know if you grew up into the purple. I think that, I think that we would need, uh, I mean, could purple, I, I think you could swing the purple color, but I, I think we would need to maybe have like a little, oh, okay, yeah, see, like that would be a really good balance to it. But we're gonna honor what, you know, your genes have given you, and thank you very much for joining us. Crisp, oh my gosh, Crisp, I forgot how beautiful you are. You look like a sunset. Are you kidding? Like, this is beautiful. Crisp, oh my goodness. And can you imagine if the horn had ended up like gold instead? Ah, that would be so pretty. <laughs> Maybe you can feed your horse some gold and that will change. And then, ah, oh, Sakura Stallion, let's grow you up and see. You look like something straight out of the Barbie movie. Oh, you gotta love it. You gotta love it. You know that somebody in like San Maishino is going to be ordering a custom crispered horse like this. And then Mika, you're up next. Oh, Mika, that's right, you had the little horn. Oh, it changed colors when you grew up, what? Okay, I'm gonna leave that. You guys saw it, I didn't do that. That just happened on its own. And uh, Mika, very nice. I like the mix of everything we've got going on here. Oh, Chris, you actually look a lot cooler. Oh, you look a lot cooler than I realized. Oh, that looks really fun. That looks really fun. And then Sophia, our little strawberry. Okay, that's actually really precious. Sophia, I didn't know I was like with strawberry horses, but here we are. This turned out really fun. I would have never ever thought to mix some of these colors together the way that they came out, but I really love the results. So thank you guys so much for joining me on this adventure. I'm still getting used to the horse jeans, but I'm starting to get a little bit of my cadence uh, and I'm kind of excited. The Rania is the first of the unicorns that we have ever caught, but I have a feeling that we'll be working more with them in the future, especially considering that there are so many beautiful horses and so many beautiful coat patterns that we could actually go ahead and use so that we could really see something ah, sparkly and special. So keep those comments coming in the comment section down below so that you too will have a chance to become a little unicorn crossbreed in the future. And I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.